Hi, Pastor Brian here with your Thriving Through Hope devotional for May 25th, 2021. Today I wanna to talk to you about priorities. What are your top three priorities in life? Last Thursday, I took the day off to celebrate my wife's birthday. Now this is something I've been doing for a very long time, taking a day off for some time alone with her on her birthday. We don't normally do anything big, Matter of fact, this, this year we started off by going and getting pedicures. Yes, I said pedicures. I enjoy a good pedicure from time to time and there's no shame in that. Following that, we drove over to Corvallis. We had lunch at my wife's favorite restaurant. We did some shopping, which is something she enjoys doing much more than I do. Then we ended our day driving up to Salem to see a movie, something we hadn't done in over a year. It was a wonderful day. You know, when Barbara and I said I do many, many years ago, we purposely put Matthew 6.33 into our ceremony. See, Matthew 6.33 is a statement and a promise that Jesus made about priorities. I'd like to read it to you. Jesus said this, Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously, and he will give you everything you need. Seek the kingdom of God above all else. Jesus here promises if we put God first, above all else, making him priority number one, he'll take care of everything else in our life. Pastor Mark made a powerful statement on Sunday when he said, knowing our priorities helps us make the right decisions all day long. Boy, there's a lot of truth there. Early on in our marriage, we set the top three priorities for our lives. And I would like to share them with you because they've helped us make decisions for our life ever since. So here's our top three. God first, family second, and ministry third. Everything else falls in line after those three. So God first, why is this so important? Because Jesus said, the greatest commandment of all is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. So God has to be number one to fulfill that great commandment. Family comes second. Jesus said the second greatest commandment is to love your neighbor as you love yourself. So your closest neighbor is your family. God has entrusted my family to me, and it's my responsibility to care for them. So it only makes sense to make them the next highest priority. So this is why I would take a day off to spend it with my wife to celebrate her birthday, because she's a top priority. This is why I would be willing to walk out of a meeting to answer my kid's phone call if I see that they're calling or why I worked so hard while my son was in high school playing basketball to try to miss none of his games. Now, I wasn't perfect, but I bet I could count on one hand how many games I missed while he was in high school. Why is this so important? Because they are a top priority to me. My ministry is third. You might ask, well, why is such a high priority on ministry? Because his church deserves my faithful service. The church is Jesus's bride and it's my privilege to serve his church. He has called me to care for his people, to feed his people and to protect them. This is a big responsibility which requires me making them a top priority in my life. I've learned over time if I keep these three priorities in place, God takes care of everything else in my life. Having these top three priorities has helped me and will continue to help me make the rest of life's bigs, big decisions. So the question is, what is your top three priorities? Are you happy with them? Do you need to make some adjustments? Today would be a great day to evaluate your priorities and make some changes if needed. Now go make it a great day.